Back at the beer garage here, we got a brand new beer review for you uh, with a uh, good friend of mine from high school uh, or Zoom call. So go uh, enjoy it, and I hope that you enjoy it. Got a nice beer hat. All right, cool. So guys, we're back at the beer garage. We got Ogarten. It is a wheat beer brewed with coriander and orange peel. Yes, indeed. 4.9% alcohol by volume into a glass. Let's let's take a trip to the Hulkatten. But for this one, I think you'll notice on the bottle it says to like save a little bit in the bottom. Yeah, and kind of like swirl it. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to add that, yep. So that creates the head on top here. What One finger white head. It has like a very banana-y type color to it. Very hazy. Oh, Not absolutely. Very, not very see-through. Same deal with the smell. I don't know. How about you? I, I smell banana. No, definitely strong banana. Definitely smell the coriander. Mm -hmm. and like maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, yeah. All those spices really are like they're sneaking in there underneath the banana. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. No, it's like it's definitely got some nice flavors. Nuance, not too. Oh, yeah, definitely. They all mesh together very well. Yeah, like there's nothing to roast here <laughs> from what I can tell so far. No, I, I've had I've had some bad ones in the past that we there's just nothing good to say about. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's dive in here. Yeah. I've, I've had it before, so what, what are your first thoughts? I've had it before, too. I haven't, I haven't had it in a while, though. Yeah. I feel like the it builds off of the smell. Like, I feel like the smell is a little bit of a preview, and then it, this is just, like, the full package. Yes, definitely. So uh, a lot of the banana notes, coriander, cinnamon, um, but it all kind of rounds out evenly. Yeah. I, th I think, like, the smell is, you know, you get, like, a higher percentage of banana. When you drink it, you get, like, more of the spices. Yeah, like, everything that's hiding under the banana in the smell mm -hmm. you, get, you get throughout the taste. Yep. So it is refreshing also. Yeah, it's, like, it's kind of light. It's, like, a nice summer beer. Not too uh, dark or wintry, you know? Not bitter. Very, yeah. like, it's, 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 a, it's a nice beer. It's a nice... Yeah, yeah, it's it's relaxing. It's the perfect thing to to have on a spring afternoon. Exactly. So, out of five, what would you say? What would you say the color would be? Oh, the color, like, <laughs> I mean, uh, let me let me get uh, get some light under this bad boy here. The color is super cool, in my honest opinion. It's yellow, but it's kind, and it's not, it's not, it's not gross or unappealing at all. Like, there's nothing about it that's you know weirding me out. Like, I would say. I guess if I'm just thinking of beers that are kind of this color, like to me, it's like a four. Four? Okay. I don't see much, like, much <laughs> way that the color could really be any better unless nah. it was like, you know, a little bit more orangey or something. Like if there was a little more variation to the color. Yeah, maybe if there was like a little bit of a gradient to it. Yes, that's the word I was looking for exactly. A little little gradation to it. I would say about the same, like a solid, solid four. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit unconventional of a color. I mean, I would say it's like... It's a, it's it's kind of a it's not really a typical color for a wheat beer. It's 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 a little bit lighter than a wheat beer and less see through than a normal wheat beer. So it, it has its own color. So we so we've done color. What's your next thing to go to on this? Uh, let's do yeah. let's do the smell. Uh huh? I mean, it's certainly not bad. Some beers you open it and you feel like you just opened like a can of paint or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, this, to me, this is definitely, like, high up there. It's not a super strong smell. You had all those different, like, fragrances in there. Like, that's that's part of what's just ma makes it, like, it's, there's not that much to complain about. Like, that's that's one of the reasons why. So, uh, out of five, what would you say? I don't know. It's, like, it's not, like, it's not the strongest scent of all time. No. So, maybe, like, a 3.8. Could be, could be a little more, like, Yeah, you know. pack, pack more of a punch. Although, in some ways, like, that's part of what makes it clean overall is that there's not a really strong scent it, it's not cloying but like at the same time if if you get more of those flavors before you drink and stuff i think it would just be a little bit better it's not not like a negative no if mm -hmm. i have to if i had to dock points i would just say like the, not not the strongest scent you know yeah it doesn't it doesn't pack a punch it's it's i'd probably give it like a 3.5 because I mean, I like I like the flavor profile. Like you can smell each thing individually, and, and nothing really mm -hmm. clashes. I, I I would just say it's a traditional smell. Like it's there's nothing that comes out at me about it. Like it's not. It's like if I smelled this and I smelled a similar pale ale, be kind of similar beers. Like if I if I smelled them like one after the other, it might be a little hard to differentiate. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. pale ale is a little bit different, but this is it's kind of like the same traditional idea, I guess. Like the same. Uh, so another wheat beer is. Is, is Spaten, like S-P-A-T-N. You ever had that one? I think I, I th I've heard of it. I, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't had it though. 
It's got a monk on the front. It's like a guy in a monk's robe. Kind of interesting. Yeah. I think like the history of it might be that it was brewed by monks. Oh yeah, it's like, I don't think it's by um, Trappist by the, yeah, it's like imported from Munich is what it says. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just yeah. found, but yeah. That, that is another wheat beer. And then there's also like the wine Stefano and the, uh, the other stuff other stuff like that I'm, not, I'm i don't know like too many brands off the top of my head but it's it's mm -hmm. along the same lines all i'm saying is if you pour a few ounces of that and a few ounces of this like next to each other i'm not sure i would necessarily yeah yeah it's it's a very it's a very traditional basic smell that that you'd probably you, you would definitely notice in, in a lot of other mm -hmm. years it's like yeah it's like i'm at oktoberfest like that's what you get <laughs> so what would you say for the taste oh the taste i would give the me personally i would give it a five yeah. I think that's the strongest attribute yep. because there's no, um, with all like alcoholic beverages, it's like you want that smoothness or, or whatever, I guess. So yeah. I feel like this is incredibly smooth. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And there's like zero there's, and then all those different flavors are so subtle. So you really get like all those spices and, and then there's like the fruit flavor. So it's really awesome. I think I, I would probably say a five as well. Cause it's like, there's no, there's like no alcohol taste. There's no, it's like on the same rack as like Bex, which I don't really agree with. The of beers get kind of skunky. Like th there's really no skunkiness at all to this. Exactly. Yeah. It's like you can, it's not like, um, there's no biting, bitiness. Is that, you know, yeah, like, yeah. none of that. And like no, no weird aftertaste either. It's like consistent. Yeah. It's very, very clean finish. What food would you put with this? Because I think you've Ooh. tasted more beers with more, I think I would say probably more of a, a analytical approach than I have. What um, I mean, with wheat beer in general, I'd probably go uh, any type of Asian food. Oh, say. really? Yeah. To balance out, like, whether it's, it depends on, I mean, with this beer, hold on, let me, I have to take another sip. Uh, probably something spicy, Asian spicy. Mm-hmm. Not like, not not necessarily like pepper spice, but like the, uh, yeah, I, I hope I'm making sense there. I No, I kind of know what you mean, because I'm thinking of a dish that has like peanuts in it. <laughs> it's, yeah. It, it's Chinese and it's very strong and spicy, but like something like this would be a perfect opposite of that, because it's yeah. like not gonna, the beer is not spicy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like that would be, it, and it's, it's so, it's like that refreshing taste, so. Palate cleanser. Exactly, yep, yep. If you had like some kind of, Chinese dish with like even like red peppers like you could go pretty hot and it would be okay with if you had this I'd say that's a cool like Crossing of continents there too. Yeah, because you got your like Bel Belgian Germany Where where are you usually find them wheat beers? Um, usually in like Germany and, and Belgium stuff like that's that. That's what I thought. Yeah, so you're yeah, you're taking that like during like that Central European thing and then Asian cuisine, like that's a pretty cool combo. Now th this one's more educational. <laughs> this yeah. is a more educational beer review. Yeah, some of them have a different feel and stuff. So exactly. Well, because that that's just how it is with beer. You never know. Yeah, definitely what you're gonna get. So guys, that was our review of Hull Garden. If you haven't had that, go pick it up. Definitely, it's easy to find. I'm sure a lot of you have had it before. It's not too different from. Uh, it's not too like exotic. Uh, that you won't like it. If you like, if you like. Corona, you'll like Ho Garden. So yeah, go check it out. Go pick it up. Leave like, leave a like, leave a comment if you wish. Uh, smack that subscription button. I'm, I'm screwing this up. <laughs> and then click the bell, obviously, because uh, you know YouTube is uh, a little silly with that stuff. It's a little bit. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, if you enjoy it, go do that, and we'll see you back in the next beer garage.
it is, um, as it is known. So yeah, Pat, I was trying to catch up on all of your videos before this. Yeah. Be an informed guest. Which have, which ones have you seen so far? Uh, I I saw like a re very recent. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts was the last one. Yeah. Okay. That was funny. <laughs> 